A good cell gone bad just from one gene mutation? How could this happen? Let us visualize it into simpler pieces. For example, look at these villas in front of you. They all started from just one brick, one on top of the other, and they all end up in this gigantic figure in front of you. A lot of you may be wondering what am I talking about? It's kind of ambiguous, right? Today I'm going to be introducing the idea of cancer and trying to simplify it as much as possible into smaller fragments. Let's start with what is cancer. Cancer is a group of over 100 diseases characterized by abnormal, uncontrolled cell growth. In a healthy body, cells grow, die, and are replaced in a very controlled way. A damage or change in the genetic material of cells by environmental or internal factors sometimes results in cells that do not die and continue to multiply until a mass of cancer cells or a tumor develops. How does cancer seeds germinate? In other words, how does cancerous process start? A lot of people find it difficult to comprehend with this process. Let me show you the simplest way possible. Cancer starts when a healthy cell becomes damaged and starts to multiply. The DNA is copied, but there is a mistake. The cell checks whether everything's okay with the DNA. Is it damaged? Has it been copied correctly? Here you can see it is damaged. Usually a cell with damaged DNA would die, but sometimes the cell ignores this warning and continues to divide. The cell gets ready to divide and builds a scaffold called the spindle, which attaches to the DNA. The cell checks whether everything's okay with the spindle. Is the DNA attached properly? Here you can see the part of the damaged DNA is attached to the wrong spindle. Usually a cell with a faulty spindle would die, but sometimes the cell ignores the warning and divides anyway. The cell splits, but each new cell doesn't have the right number of chromosomes. Some cells don't have the correct number of genes and others have extra copies. These faulty cells have no longer correct instruction and they start to multiply. Now let me roll it out in two different cases. First one will be a natural case. We will talk about what is cancer. Did you realize that in every second, not less than five leaves fall out of this tree? What's the reason? It's just the wind. The wind just comes and blows them away until every leaves fall out of this tree. They may fall 5 by 5, 10, 15. At the end, you find this tree has no leaves at all. In the second all. case, it will be just a diagram illustrating how cancer spreads. Let us look at this random number of white dots as a representation of our community. What do you think will happen if danger enters? Will it stop? No, it keeps spreading and spreading until it reaches to every single one in this community. That's why we should work on limiting it as we are part of this community.